Hey guys, and welcome back to Tomoldi. And today we are going to be reviewing or talking about the cheapest Ryzen laptop you can currently buy. So, this bad boy is a Lenovo, um, rest of the specs here, I can't remember the name of it. Uh, something, whatever, anyway. So, this bad boy, a uh, little Ryzen laptop, the cheapest Ryzen you can currently buy on the internet at uh, £235. So I bought this little laptop from CEX, as you may know the shop of you in the UK, excellent retailer for buying second hand gear. So um, yeah, let's just talk about it. So the specs of this bad boy are, let's turn you on, mm, hey, hey. Um, <laughs> so it's got a Ryzen 3 2200U, um, it has Vega 3 graphics, which is quite nice, 4 gigabytes of uh, on -bit, in built memory, on bot. It has four gigabytes of onboard memory, and it's got a 19 by uh, 1920 by 1080p uh, screen apparently as well. Um, even though I don't think it actually is, I think it's um, if you look at it properly, it's like 900p or something. But um, yeah, so the condition is great. I love the look of this laptop. Very very um, nice. It's silver. Simples. So it's silver. Silver. It doesn't look too fancy. Nice size screen. The refresh rate is nice. Keyboard is also nice, touchpad, once again nice. I mean, it's simple looking, it doesn't look too fancy, which I quite like. So let's log on and we'll talk about some game performance and usage performance. Before we get into the rest of the video, I forgot to add the laptop did come installed with some bloatware such as McAfee antivirus, but I'd done a fresh install of Windows 10 before, testing specs and stuff. As I said earlier, uh, we're going to Task Manager. I've been using this laptop for about a week so far, so I've got average thing of it. Uh, one thing I have changed is I upgraded the RAM but for this video I've taken it out and I'm going to do a separate upgrade video. So as you can see it's got 4 gigabytes of RAM, uh, Vega 3 graphics, it also comes with 128 gigabytes Samsung M uh, SATA SSD which I'll also be upgrading in a future video. And then it's the Ryzen 3 2200U. So um, internet use it's fine. It's like if we go to like YouTube for example, let's go on YouTube, I'm gonna watch some amazing Tom Oldie videos. A little bit, it's not instant, but it is using the Wi-Fi as well, it's not plugged in by Ethernet, so it would be a lot faster. So if we go to my channel, um, yeah, it's pretty snappy. Let's just double check display settings just to show you, because it says it's 1080p on the box, but if you actually look at the display, it is in 1366 by 768, which is a bit strange, but it looks fine, is the point. So, 166 subscribers, your boy getting big. But let's just watch a video anyway and see what um, how it is watching. This is 1080p. Speakers aren't the best sounding, but it's a laptop. I'm not expecting super huge amount. Oops. Let's just turn up the volume. There you go. It's been about three months since I uploaded, and yeah, I don't really. But let's just get. Yeah, so watching YouTube is fine. Let's see if we can go on Twitch. See how watching that is. Multiple tabs open, so we've got this video open still. Pause that. It's on Twitch. We'll just watch. Let's see if we can get some hot tub streams. There's going to be like at least one. So, yeah. Oh, it was already let's mute you, you're annoying. Is. Um, well, so I've got watching a stream on Twitch, um, what YouTube video up, watching two things at once, it's fine if you go between them, so yeah, internet usage is fine, um, I don't have Word or PowerPoint downloaded on here, but I just use WordPad, uh, browsing is fine, keyboard feels quite nice, I like this, it's a sentence for my bad spelling. So that all works fine. Let's just try a bit of gaming. So I downloaded a couple of games. Let's get Steam up. So single player. Let's get into a game. So it's loading actually pretty fast. And we can play. So I'm not sure how many FPS this is. Uh, shift tab. You can't shift tab in Terraria. But um, looking at it, like if I had to guess, I'd say this is at least 60. Seems to be playing fine. Like, I really don't have an issue with the graphics on this game. Like, it seems to be working fine. I should have downloaded Overwatch. 
But uh, this game works fine anyway. So it's fine for light gaming, but you can do this on any laptop is the point. Uh, turns off, there we go. So, for upgrades, let's just move you a bit. Um, you firstly have to remove the screws on the back. I have already done that. Let's get you open. Just put it open with your fingers, blah, 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 all that stuff. Super fun. So, zoom in a bit. As you can see, you've got a SATA SSD. So you could remove that, replace it with another SSD if you wish. Uh, there's just a couple more things you need to unscrew to get to the rest of it. Doing that thing, fraying it. So this should come off now, hopefully. It should come off. Ooh. That screw just went somewhere. That's fine. Pull you out. Um, yeah, I just lost that screw, but it'll probably be fine. Hey, I was on the floor and I found the screw. Guess I'm not a screw up. Hey, hey. Brother, this guy stinks! Man, that was very bad. I'm ashamed of myself, I know, I'm sorry. Like, I can't imagine it. I mean, it's all of them. Silly me. Silly old me. Silly, silly Tom. What a plonker you are. So let's remove this anyway, that comes off. Probably giving someone anxiety watching this. So it's got onboard memory, as I said. So we have got a slot here for a slot of RAM. So if you wanted, you can upgrade the RAM, which I have done, but I'm gonna save that for another video to show you. It's also got an M.2 slot here. So you can add an M.2, which I'm gonna make my boot drive as well. And also it's SATA port, so you can add a hard drive, large capacity hard drive, or you could just do another SSD. So I'm gonna keep this SSD in here anyway. So it's got multiple uh, paths to upgrade. So as I said, more RAM, M.2, bigger SSD. Yeah, it's quite nice looking laptop in here also. So let's put this all back together and give final reviews. So, final reviews of this bad boy. Uh, it's nice, for the price of £230 it's great. It's got the Vega 3 graphics which is fine for like gaming. Um, in the next video I'll test out Overwatch once I upgrade it, because I forgot this time. Um, nice look, nice keyboard, and it's fine for internet browsing. I'm mainly going to be using it for very light gaming, very light video editing, and uh, coursework and stuff since I'm doing a level 3. Go me, because I am epic. Um, but yeah, it's fine. So the cheapest Ryzen laptop is fabulous, and I would recommend buying. So <laughs> thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you next time. Bye.